Hi everyone! Welcome to the video How to write a simple manual API test case or our first API test case. Let's begin! In a previous video, we troubleshoot our issue and updated the bug. We realized that we need to write our first manual API test. To be able to write the test, we need a place where to write it. We need a test management system. Can you guess what test management system we are going to use? What kind of system will work on this project? The Google Sheets. I know you are surprised. I recommend starting from this. In the future, we can move to some advanced system. But for now, when we see the screenshots instead of requirements, let's start with Google Docs. And the test case will look something like this. The same as the bug, just without the expected result. Let's check some details. The summary is divided into three parts. The first tab, the domain name is Pet Store Swagger. Let's say it is our test suite related to that service. And the second tab, the endpoint, get slash v2 slash pet slash pet ID. It is another test suite. Test suits are green. The last part of the summary is yellow. It is what we want to test. As we don't have valid requirements, I want to have only two test cases. Valid test case, I will call it the happy bus. And negative test case. To summarize, we have a service suite pet store swagger for different endpoints for the service. We have the suite per endpoint get slash v2 slash pet pet id and we plan to have two test cases valid and invalid let's check the steps now and we need to write the steps in as generic manner as possible so we'll be able to copy paste those everywhere the steps consist of two parts the step itself and the input slash output value in the first step given part we will always send the request and we specify what exactly we will send in the end part after that we will provide CURL so it will be easy to import export and in the then part we will check the response code and response body again all of this can be easily copied and pasted remember the keys principle keep it simple stupid we just started to work on the project. It is better to save some data in a manner you will be able to reuse it. There are plenty of options in the future. Maybe you will use some great test management systems like TestRail. Maybe you will store everything in the Postman. Maybe you will continue using Google Sheets. Or maybe you will start to use Notepad. Maybe you won't use any of those and will spend all the time on coffee breaks. You don't know the answer yet. We have created two testing artifacts, the defect report and the test case. A lot of time has passed and most likely we have got some answers from the manager on the tickets. Let's check the comments in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like coffee or coffee shop, leave a thumbs up, if not thumbs down. See you in the next video.